What is up everybody? Thank you for coming back to the channel for today's video and if you're new my name is Derek and this is Derping with Derek. So today's video I have the collector's edition of Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, there are two editions. There are uh, this is the standard edition with the normal Trimmer Tusk, uh, Trimmer Tusk statue and then the second one is the Regala edition which is the same statue just different stuff added on to it and I think you get a few more collectibles as well which there will be two parts uh, I did end up buying this one and the Regala edition, but that's pretty much what today's video is. As you can tell from the theme, it's Horizon Forbidden West, and I got something super cool to show you all at the end of the video. This is today's sidekick pop is Aloy in the Shadow Armor. Uh, that's pretty much Let's get it started. Let's get it. Okay, so pretty much I'm probably going to have to end up actually may pause the video because this thing was really hard to build. I've already built one because I did buy two editions. This one is actually my girlfriend's. But and uh, it took me a good minute to actually put the uh, tusk on the statue, and we'll see how that actually ends up. But I will show y'all pretty much. This is what the box looks like right here. We got Horizon Forbidden West, the cool little triangle thing that they always do. This is one of the newer games. I think the first one came out around 2017. Uh, this is the second, uh, the sequel of it. Um, but this is actually a cauldron, a, a part of the game. This is just a cool little art piece on the side, as well as the trimmer tusk itself. Uh, this is pretty much the outside box art, and on the back pretty much shows you everything that actually comes in the box. Uh, you have a standard, this is a standard edition, so you get the steelbook case with the digital edition, and it comes with downloadable content. You get like a few things. You have an extra th uh, face on photo mode. Uh, you have an apex piece, which is a piece in the game, kind of like a chess piece, um, as well as a few other things. Uh, you get a digital soundtrack, uh, Horizon Zero, Dawn, Volume 1, the soundtrack digital comic book, which I don't understand why it gives you a, it says Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm reading off of a thing on my tablet here. And you get two skins. You get a card, uh, a Karja Behemoth Elite outfit and short bow, as well as a Nora Thunder Elite outfit and sling, which is one of the, uh, two of the weapons in the game is, uh, comes with the digital content. Also includes the Nora legacy outfit and spear so let me get this out of the way and actually try to start to open this i did already cut it open on one of these sides not that side um so let's our, let's try to get into this box i may have to cut in certain parts because it is extremely hard to get this out by yourself because it has that vacuum seal let's see if i can do it easily on the first try here so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get a hold of, there we go Oh, I don't want to rip the box. I ripped my other box because I could not get it out and put it back in. Uh, I know people are going to be like, oh, it's not that hard. Well, for me it is. So, I almost got it out. It's got a wiggle. Maybe dumb. There we go. So, the, the box art on the bottom is actually pretty awesome. And this is uh, Aloy herself. I... I read a thread, but I'm not really 100% sure on what the actual age of Aloy in this one is. I saw something that said she was like 45, which I'm not sure if that's correct. I could be wrong, but there it is. The box art on this is amazing. The statue is amazing. Um, and here on the side, we have the... I don't know the names of all these because they're, they're fairly new. and I'm just starting to get in the game. Uh, I think this one's called the Claw Strider, but I'm not 100% sure. Not really. I can't really remember the name on this one here, but the box art is so phenomenal. It's insane. And the graphics on the game, I wanted to play the game as well. That's why I'm kind of late on the actual video. So I wanted to experience it before I did the video. And here's another piece of the box art, which is amazing. Again, they did really well on this box as well as the statue. And it just, this is one of our first collector's editions in a good minute. But here we go, let's get into the box and I can't remember, oh, that's right. Uh, it just drops down. Okay, so this is the front. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in front of me and try to take this box off. It's vacuum, vacuum sealed, there we have it. And this is the actual, tr basically what comes in the box. I'm gonna put it a little closer. Uh, you basically get the statue here and then all the pieces that you got to put on there. I may end up actually grabbing my other one that I already have built. Um, but here we have it. And if you see right here, 
is where the actual disc is and the art book that comes with it is in a tray down here and I will kind of lift that up and hold it for you. So basically that's where the steel book is, the digital codes are in the steel case and the art book. So this one you didn't really get a whole lot of actual pieces in the box but I will go over the uh, stuff that comes in at first before I go into the statue because this thing is extremely hard to put together. Some people may have had different experiences, but the tusks, some, it kind of doesn't line up, so it's really hard to put on there. I may put it, I may not. But this is actually the steel book case right here that comes with the game. And it's super awesome. Let me open it up and pull the codes out and just show you the inside. So this is what the inside of the uh, steel book looks like. S amazing case. I'm excited to actually get it. I ended up having to go back and buy a disc because it's rant time. So I bought the standard collector's edition as well as the Regala and then I got home. Well, I opened one of them up to put the game in and actually try to play it. The codes didn't redeem. So that was one of the biggest issues I had with the two uh, collector's editions was I wasn't able to actually play the game until the day of the release because I got it at midnight and then it didn't work. N neither code worked. So I kind of panicked. Well, the next day... I went and actually picked up the disc copy of the game to actually get, be able to get to play it, um, which was kind of upsetting to me because you wait for so long. You get you even pre-ordered the two standard editions, spent a lot of money on these, spent over five hundred dollars on statues alone and the extra disc copy, which at that point it should automatically work. Which we all know they do have issues, so I'm not really too mad. But basically, that was my story of getting the collector's editions was I had a bad experience. And then, of course, I had to go buy the disc edition, which doesn't make sense because it does come with an actual steelbook case, but no game. Originally, when I pre-ordered this a while back, it said it actually came with the PS5 disc version. Now, I don't know how in the world I got two digitals, but I guess they switched it in the end and maybe just didn't put the disc in there or make any disc versions. Not really sure at this point. I haven't really done a lot of research. Got the game, been playing it. But let's jump into the actual art book. That was the case. And the art book is actually pretty awesome. I like the feel, the texture. It has a little bit, has a bezel on the actual name. Now, I don't know if that glows. In, I don't think it does, but we'll find out in a minute. Um, that has a little texture to it, just on the name. And the book's actually pretty cool. It has a bunch of stuff in there. I don't really want to go through it all, kind of spoil it for some people. So if you don't want to see parts of the games, just don't watch this part, skip ahead. Um, but this basically has art from the game, uh, bows, characters, as typical uh, art stuff. So here's some of the stuff you see inside of here as well. Uh, really detailed, I really liked how they did the game. Uh, there's a few things I've had issues with, but it's a new game, they gotta fix and patch some things. But so far it's an overall great game. But there is the art book. Let's jump into the statue. I'm really excited to do this. Uh, pull the front off. Like I said, I may actually end up... Oh, I forgot there's tape on there. So let's push this in and move this out. So the really cool thing about this uh, collector's edition is the box it actually comes with is, is the background. That's really awesome, which... I haven't bought a collector's edition in a while, so I don't know how that all works, but this one actually comes with a display box, and it's awesome. Like, look at the inside of that. That is the detail. You have the snow, the background. But let's move this over to the side, maybe off so we can get the, the statue out and look at it. Move my knife over here. So, remove the tape. Quite a bit of tape on here. So, this is the original statue that it comes with. Um without the tusks on it. Oh, there's the little hum uh, humidity thing or whatever that thing's called. Basically, this is the statue itself. There's the antennas, all the cool parts on it that you have to shoot off during the game. Uh, this is actually called a trimmer tusk. Uh, these are guns here, the antennas and stuff like that. You can shoot these parts off here during the game. And that's basically how you destroy these weapons is basically take off of their weapons and destroy as much as you can. You can blow off the belly with arrows as well, make them explode. But that's so far the statue. And I want to kind of demonstrate on how hard it is to put these on here because each piece comes with a, uh, I don't know if you can see it in there, 
if I can get it to show, but there's a little red marker and it lines up with the, on here, uh, uh, right there, that red marker there, that's how you know where to put it. I'm gonna try and do this. Watch, it's gonna be super easy on this statue. The last one was extremely hard. And all you gotta do is just press it on there. That one actually slid on there fairly easy and had to put a lot of pressure. There's one tusk. I'm gonna actually fast forward just to get this done to show you the statue and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. It didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to, but here is actually a piece that was on there that I completely forgot if I can just get it to get off my face. This is the little alloy piece that actually goes on with the statue. Um, really cool piece. Has her and her little spear and bow. Um, but that's pretty much what comes as alloy in the actual collector statue, which this is an awesome piece. Got some hair on it. Uh, this is the trimmer tusk as well, finally built. Uh, as you can see, everything looks normal except there. I did add the trunk and the four tusks. So this is what it looks like with the four tusks attached. Uh, this is a really cool statue, very detailed. Uh, and I'll kind of get a slow spin. Uh, that's pretty much the trimmer tusk. And some of the, and I've actually finally came across one of these. I didn't ever, I couldn't find it in the game because I kind of wanted to experience one before I actually showed the statue. These things are insane to fight when all you have is a spear, bow, and some and arrows that basically help with these parts. You knock them off so he doesn't have such powerful weapons. And each one of these things just gets knocked off. You can knock off the guns. You can knock off these pieces. And the more you take off of them, the more power he loses over time. Like if you take his barrel away, or belly, uh, if you take his stomach away, you, he loses a lot of power as well. And each little thing on this thing that you can shoot off actually lowers his health and stuff like that to help you fight him. But that's pretty much the statue. It is a massive statue. Not really as heavy as you'd think it would be, but it's still a big statue. Light, the bottom doesn't really have anything on there, just some screws, and it basically tells you what that uh, the game is, of course. Uh, through it's from Gorilla, I think that's how you say it, but it's actually pretty cool. It says 10 Great, that's the address, I don't even know where I'm reading it, but there we have it. This is pretty much the statue and all the stuff that comes with it. Um, this is overall one of my favorite <laughs> collector's editions I've up to date rather than the uh, other one that I have as the cyberpunk one. But I will be doing the Regala edition here soon as well. Uh, I just wanted to do in part one, part two. But let me know what you think down in the comments on the statue. And uh, is there anything else I could do to better describe this during the unboxings? That's, that helps a lot. As well as this is my first video back in a good minute. But mainly, I just wanted to make sure that I got off the detail pretty much of the statue itself. Uh, one of the, I'm going to show you all a really cool thing after this as well, but this is pretty much the statue itself. Uh, you got the tusk there. Um, I did have some information on my tablet over here that I put on my side just so I don't forget things and make sure I covered everything. Um, this is basically the sequel, the collector's edition. This one was $200. I should have stated that in the very beginning. I didn't. Um, basically, you know the main characters, Aloy. This is a sequel to the, uh, the first one came out in 2017. Uh, some of the information, and this basically has a disc launcher, and it has the, I think it has a plasma version. There are different types of mechs in the game as well. This one has the trunk as a flamethrower. It's a very heavy armored uh, machine that's in the game, one of the harder ones to fight, especially when you fight one of these in a cauldron, which is something you have to drop down into a pit and fight it inside the pit with no cover. A little bit of cover, but they take it out pretty much. But one of the cooler things that I wanted to do, I want to show you all. I'll be right back because I have to turn the light off, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys was, uh, let me grab my light here. This shirt is really awesome. Uh, Savannah, she, my girlfriend, she made it for me. I'm going to turn this on and put it on just the words of my shirt. And this is something I thought was really awesome, and uh, I wanted to wear it. But there we have it. It glows in the dark. Uh, don't mind the chomp here, but there it is. It is the glow in the dark Horizon Forbidden West shirt. That's super awesome. Uh, where's the booklet at? I don't think it glows in the dark. I could be wrong. Yeah, so it doesn't glow in the dark. Let me turn the lights back on. As you can tell, it may be a little dimmer. Uh, that's pretty much the statue itself in this awesome t-shirt. Uh, tell me what you think down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the statue. Is it worth the $200? Uh, 
Uh, I think the other edition was 250 and it came with a bunch of other stuff, which I'm excited to actually get into. I haven't opened it yet. Waiting for the video. So that's pretty much the end of the video. Let me know what you think about the statue and the little piece. that got Aloy right here with her little spear and her bow. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of the actual statue, if it's a good price, and what you think about it. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell, so that way you know when my videos first drop. And I will see y'all in the next video. Later!